Hi Libra, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. We're going to look at how your person is currently feeling about you. Keep in mind this is general so it may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, feel free to check your other placements. Oh my gosh. Toxic relationship. We have text message. Some of you may get a text message from someone. <laughs> oh my gosh. From someone who used to be like toxic. The change card came out and I'm thinking, hold on, this person changed. Is it possible for someone to go from toxic to non-toxic? Yes, it is actually. Because if you think about toxic behavior, it's just it just stems from someone who's hurt someone who has childhood wounds or past relationship wounds and when you heal those wounds yeah you can you can be no longer toxic because you get rid of that toxic energy you get rid of that pain so could it be that the person you have in mind has gotten rid of their toxic behavior we'll see we have liquid courage they may call you or text you when they're drunk they may only have the courage to do that when they're drunk let's see what do we have for Libra when it comes to love? Oh my gosh, Libra. This message is clear. Someone is about to spin the block, past returning. That toxic person is going to text you. You're only going to have memories of them being toxic. You may be surprised to find that they may have changed. I don't know. I hate to say that. But it could be true. It could be true. The main event is reaching the climax in your story, the best part, a happy ending. Could it be? I mean, hold on. <laughs> Dreaming of you. They could have dreamt of you. We also have new love. What in the world? Some of you, some of you may meet a new person before this person comes towards you. That tends to happen. Having a choice between the past and the future. Oh, wrong deck. Wrong one. Okay. How does this person currently feel about Libra? The person Libra has in mind. How they're currently feeling about Libra. I just saw the devil card. Speaking about toxic. How is this person currently feeling about Libra? Person on Libra's mind. They are seeing a future here, okay. This person feels like they know exactly what to do to make this relationship work. There's still a lot of attraction they feel towards you. They actually regret not making any effort. There's there's a regret or a fear. The regret There's a regret of not making any effort. There's also a fear that you may not be putting any energy into this anymore. And um, when it comes to them reaching out, coming forward, they do feel very stuck here. They do feel stuck. So this could be why they only feel confident enough to reach out when they're drunk. They're thinking, okay, Libra probably doesn't want to hear from me. Then they get drunk and they're like, you know what? I'm going to call. <laughs> they decide they're going to call you when they're drunk or a text that's when they have the confidence to do it so um five of swords in reverse they're in this energy of wanting to make peace they want to come out of conflict um there's a fear there's what's blocking is the nine of cups so you could be very happy and content and you know happy where you are and this could be blocking them because you may be thinking, okay, I don't want anyone to come in and disturb my peace. So that, that could block them from coming in, from having a chance with you. But um, they do want to make peace. They do want to make peace. They are actually dealing with some emotional pain here. Page of Cups in reverse. They may have been emotionally immature back then or had... Um, issues that they needed to heal the king of cups is here 
main energy, overall energy. So this is someone who is feeling like they're in love, feeling like they made a mistake with their actions in the past. Why the two of wands in reverse? This person has made up their mind about you. <laughs> King of Pentacles, male or female. This is someone who's made up their mind. They're very serious. And the well card is here. This person is like, okay, I messed up. I feel like you kind of, you kind of um, triggered them to go and heal. Kind of showed them the truth about themselves, that they were toxic. Why the three of wands? Yep, they see a future with you, but they're, you know, fearful of making a move. They've, they've been just staying still, but we also have the Page of Cups, so there could be an apology coming in because of how they feel, because they see clearly now. Why the Knight of Wands? King of Wands, wow. Fiery Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have the Sun, so Leo energy strong here. Um, they do want to make peace, and they do have strong attraction to you they want to get in bed physical attraction fiery passion that's how they're seeing you so you could be like really glowing up or lifting weights um i say lifting weights because there's this fiery energy and you know exercise and it's like brings out a lot of energy they're sweating you're hot you know you know what i mean the steam, the sweat of exercising, it reminds me of this King of Wands and Knight of Wands combined. A lot of energy being pushed out. So this person's seeing you as like like that, like really fiery, maybe just busy a lot, making big moves. Why the Eight of Swords, yeah. They feel stuck. They're keeping themselves stuck and not reaching out um, when they're sober because they feel like you're gonna um, you're gonna have this seven of wands energy, and they just want to make peace. Five of swords is here in reverse twice. They feel like you may not be wanting to make peace. Why the three of pentacles in reverse? The empress. See, the attraction is still there. They want growth. They want forward movement. But they do feel some type of insecurity. There's something that really keeps them stuck here. Why the page of cups in reverse? Eight of swords again. They're holding back when it comes to an apology, reaching out. They really might get drunk and call you. I'm not saying much about the new love, but it could be someone new coming in for you, as well as this person. Why the Nine of Cups? Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. They feel like you're just living your best life, doing you, hustling. You feel like you might be hustling, hustling in silence with that Six of Wands in reverse. Because they're seeing you kind of glow up, but they're not seeing anything else. They're just seeing you glow up and they don't know what you're doing. So they feel like, okay, you're being secretive. <laughs> what do we have for Libra? This person's hidden truth when it comes to Libra. I love you unconditionally. I knew exactly what I was doing. So they were toxic. But that could have changed. I know I was a distraction from your pain. So this is when someone, this is when two people attract each other. Like they knew you were hurt, so they came towards you. And then you both just end up in this toxic relationship where there's a lot of pain and unresolved issues from your both, both your past. So you may have healed yours and they may have healed theirs. But now they're looking back at how atrocious they were and their bad behavior and like, oh my gosh, Libra probably doesn't even want to hear from me after all of that. How do I show them the new me? We pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you. So this person may not be like 100% perfect, 100% healed. 
We have heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. You would have to gauge and see this person's behavior if they do come forward. Because there is, I do, like I said in the beginning, I do believe in change. Because it only, all you have to do is heal your pain that causes you to behave that way. So they could have changed, but change doesn't happen overnight. So if, if it's only been like a few couple weeks since you guys have spoken, they probably haven't made a miraculous change. But if it's been a while, changes may have happened. Not a miracle, but change, okay? Engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. We have made the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you got to take. I really feel like this person feels strongly that they should make the effort because of how they feel about you. But they're also thinking about the past and how they acted and knowing that it was wrong. See, I knew exactly what I was doing. But then they still have this love for you. It's like, how do I let Libra know that I'm not like that anymore? Or that, you know, then they would have to explain, you know, their childhood to you and why they were that way. So maybe that happens during the heart to heart conversations. But we'll see. We got two kings here and the empress. Three kings, actually. I love that the kings are here. That means progress. Someone's grown up, made changes. But yeah. So we're dealing with Leo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra. Only Libra here is the air sign. Okay. Well, all this, most of the signs are here. This is what I'm seeing for you, Libra. I hope this was helpful. Feel free to check your other placements if you want to know what else is going on. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.